Hello, welcome to Spotlight with Worsen. I'm your host, If, and I'm here with Jasmine, Geneva, Epi, and Geneva May. Hi, so I'm Geneva May from the Institute for Family Health. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming. So, um, what did you bring for us today? All right, so like I said, I am from the Institute for Family Health and Healthy Families. So I brought with us the Healthy Families Jeopardy board. Um, we got about six categories, we got two teams. We're gonna try to play to a thousand and hopefully you guys learn a little bit about my program. All right? Cool. All right, so like you said, we got two teams. What's our team over here? Big B's. What's, what's the team name? The Big B's. The big, big B's, all right, all right, all right. And what's our team over here? <laughs> big, G's. <laughs> big G's, all right. Clearly we like capital letters over here, so that's, that's really great. Um, so like we said, we're going to play to a thousand. The way that each team gets their point is I will read the question. If you know the answer, you guys will give your buzzer sounds, which are... <laughs> all righty, and you guys? All right, um, so great, and that's how you guys will answer your question. So who would like to pick a question first? All right, well, I so I oh, heard the buzzer. Right. All right, we got yeah, your buzzer, so question. go ahead. Um, you guys want to know our categories first? Yeah. All right, everywhere we go, people want to know our um, facts and things about the Institute for Family Health or Healthy Families. True or false, self-explanatory, true or false. Um, let's make a difference. Numbers don't lie. Give statistical information or num information based off of numbers. Riddle me this, which is my favorite, is a riddle that you have to solve. Um, Como se dice gives you three words and you have to figure out what the word is in English. So it's three words in three different languages. You have to give me the English word and name that baby is a title of a movie, um, song, game, or something like that that has baby in the title. Good? All right. So go for it. What, what, what category and number would you like? <laughs> name that baby. Name that baby for what number? 300. Three, oh, okay, oh, 300. We're going to start oh. early. All right, so the clue is lacking anteriorly. The title with baby in it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, no. <laughs> Either team can answer. Is that like a, um, like a word from the song or something? Nope, but it is no. a song. That's a good it's clue. It's a song. It is a song. Hit me maybe one more time by Britney Spears. Nope. So the clue is lacking interiorly. <laughs> I don't what even know what, what does what interiorly is, mean. Um, what is anterior? Anybody know what anterior? You guys can answer too if you know. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anteriorly means um, in the front. In the front. <laughs> so if you're lacking in the front. Ooh. Uh, lacking in the front. <clears throat> Anybody in the audience know? Is it lacking hygiene? No. It's a title of a song with baby in it. Yeah, come it's on, Megan. Like All right, five, Bieber. four, nope, three, two, one. All right, and the answer is Baby Got Back. How was I supposed to know that? Uh, it's a it, song! <laughs> when was the song made? It was like before. You, probably not, probably not. <laughs> All righty, so you guys didn't get it. You guys get to choose your category. You want to go? All right, true or false, or the every movie people want to know. True or false. All right, true or false. false. What number? Um, 100. 100? All right. My pregnancy has come to full term at 37 weeks. Uh. Oh, crap. There you go. Wait. <laughs> true or false? True. Correct. True. 100 points for 20, Team Vicky. 20, 27. <laughs> All right. Um, you guys got it. Pick a pick category. Okay. Okay. Um, let's do hard. Riddle me this. You wanna go? Your riddles are they're hard. I She's. Know. I like I like solving riddles. Okay, okay, let's solve this riddle. All right. One hundred. One hundred. All right. So I will read the riddle. Oh my God. It's it's not so long. It gets worse. Um, <laughs> Trisha, the baby, and her mom are in the bedroom. The baby cries, and her mom picks her up to console her because you can never spoil a baby. What was Trisha doing? Spoiling a baby? Nope. Sitting there? Wait. Can Anybody you can She was crying. Correct. Yes! <laughs> You're on a roll today. 200. But I gotta hear the buzzer. Oh, oh. There we go. <laughs> go ahead, guys. Shoot me. Okay. Category <laughs> and number. <laughs> um, let's see. No, let's do the baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still want to do it. So it's easy. All right. 
Name, name that baby. All right. Name that baby 100. I got to hear buzzer sounds because I think this one might be easy. Okay. Oh, maybe not. This infant is quite expensive. You can even call him an heir. Well. It's a title. Chucky. No, it's a title. It has baby, the word baby in the title. Is it a movie? Yes. Is it on Netflix? Yes. Boss Baby. No. It has a baby in it, you said? To the bathroom. Yes, it has a word baby in it. And I don't know about, go for it, about Netflix, actually. Um. <laughs> and, all right, so the, this infant is quite expensive, right? You can even call him an heir. And you guys, if you want to look at the way heir is spelled, that might help. Well, um, this is why I feel English. Oh, all right, five, four, three, airhead, two, bear, one. Million dollar baby. See, I didn't watch that movie. Neither have I. Okay. All righty, so nobody got it. Uh, you guys can pick. Category Go number. said 200. All right, so I'll show you the three words, and Let's you guys have to guess what the English word is. Can everybody see? Oh, I don't know this. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my or we could phone a friend, or we could phone a friend. Oh, okay. Baby? Okay. Baby. No. Pregnant. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, baby. Okay, okay. I got it. But you guys got your brother sound, so I got to hear a real strong brother sound. Okay. To get your point. Okay. No, you're, you're, you're. Good job. Wait, 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 so for 200. Pregnancy, that all three of the words mean the same thing. The um, first word is in Spanish, the second is in Polish, and the third is Romanian. But they all mean pregnancy in English. Okay. No, all right, Dylan, good job. <laughs> Pick one. Dylan, take off your phone for me. <laughs> Though, and yes, you guys can use all of your no, audience no, keep numbers keep to... Uh, uh, como se dice 300? 300, what? okay. Oh, God. You ready? You can't look at them. You have to Those look are at the three words. words. Dylan, Google. Why not? Or come on, she just allowed it. Dang. It does. It's not. Um, I can try to help if okay. you guys know the the languages. Will that help? No. I don't, one is, I don't know. One. The first is Creole. The second is Czech, and the last is Finnish. And they all mean the same. They language. all mean the same thing. Is it a type of food? No. So, bomb. Your. <laughs> What's bomb. my answer? Bomb. Good job. You're Correct. supposed to be helping us. Mother. <laughs> Also, you guys can phone a friend, so we'll get we'll get some help from our audience. So that was Team Big G's for three hundred. And yeah, we need to get back on our roll. <laughs> our shout out to our scorekeeper Megan. What's our score looking like? We got five hundred and two hundred. Five hundred for Big G's and two hundred for Big B's. Can you say it in the two hundred for Big B's? All right, guys. Step our game up. Big G's, your turn to pick a category. True or false? True or false, 200. All right. Our question says, Healthy Families is a program created exclusively for moms and babies. Oh, good. You're false, yeah. false, false. You're, you're, you're. Oh, good. False, oh, false, false, false. Oh, you're, 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 you and how you guys are absolutely correct. How did you know it was But they didn't say because, because it's not it's not moms and babies. It's like for it's everybody. for everybody. Very true. Thank you. Though she did point. give you the answer, so you get the point, you get to pick the question. Oh my god. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's valid. That's valid. Valid. Great. Um which one should they get? Should they get? Yeah. Make it hard. Now, everywhere we go, people want to know. 600. Ooh. Okay. You know if, if they get this, I'm going to be so tired. Well, you guys can answer too. So. Okay, so we can. Read, read this book. Like. All right, got you. Got you. <laughs> okay. What is the name for a center that offers comprehensive services, including preventative health services, dental services, mental Jeez. health services, substance abuse services, transportation oh, services, me. necessary for adequate patient care, hospital, and specialty, specialty care, often referred to as, and this is the kicker, this is what you have to set, tell me. Basically, what does a FQHC stand for? Which describes a center that <clears throat> offers all of these comprehensive services. The F one is family, right? Okay, Google. Can I just go back no to the letter? 
Faculty. We can go by letter. So okay. the question is 600 points. Faculty of. If you guys, if you can give me what each letter stands for, I'll give you 100 points per letter or 600 points for the whole thing. Okay. You're, You're federally. I mean, okay. No Somebody's cheating. No so people. you already know the federal <laughs> part. And I'm going to stand right here so you can't get the rest of it. <laughs> federal is the first one. So essentially, what does FQHC stand for? All answering eyes look that way because you guys are going to be cheaters. Okur, okur. Oh, okur. Okay. Yes. Federal. Federally, yes. Um, questioning. No. Question. Q. I was going to say Q. <laughs> Though we do support cover. HB or LGBTQ services, so could have been close, but no. Um, Let's all look that way. <laughs> what about the H? Kaylin, do not. Don't do it. What about the Don't H? Do it. Health. Health. Is it health? There we go. No, Kaylin, look at her. No, no, her. no, no she's, I'm, I'm looking at Jada Sill right here. Um, C, everybody looking that way. What Company? Is, no. Care? Community. No. Close. All good words. Career. Capability. Career. No. Good, good, good. Um, Central. Close. I'm going to give it to you. It's center. 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 100 center. points for that. So All federally. Right. What was it? Federally. Age? Blank health. health center. Blank health center. Uh, quality. No. Federal quantity. Health center. Qualify. She looks. No, I know Federal quantity. Qualify. 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 Each get a letter, but nobody got the whole thing. But yes, it is a federally qualified health center. Wait, so we both got a hundred? Yes, because yeah. you guys got the health and they, they got, got the center. Yeah. Thank you. Alrighty, guys, you can pick the question. Thank the Lord Jesus. Okay. <laughs> For them, we're picking the question. Uh, question right. anybody no, can no, answer. No, 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 no. Six hundred, true or false? True or false? Six hundred. Okay. I can't breastfeed openly in a park because there are children around. Oh, okay. that's, 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 that's false. That's very false. That was that was a very strong occur. High five for that. Yes, yes, and it is absolutely false. Do we know why? That was a good one. <laughs> because because we'll if you breastfeed anywhere, it's natural. Exactly. Absolutely, and New York State uh, by law says that. Number one. Yeah. Well, you know, not many people know that, but I'm really glad that everybody here does. So awesome. Okay. All right, Fine. go for it. ooh. Yo, Megan, what's the point? All, all right, so I think we have a winner. Our big, big B's got to 1,000 already. Points. What's the score? Yes! Ah! 600. Can you at least do a small Okay, one? okay. <laughs> do you guys Slide. want to pick a few more? Yeah, yeah, let's go on. Yeah. All right, let's keep, pick a few more. You want to go to at least 1,500? Okay. Yeah. Do we at least get 10 Let's minutes of content? Let's <laughs> But we won just in case but anybody you did knows. Win. Absolutely. We absolutely. Won. Okay. Let's go. This is where we play hole in the wall. Okay. <laughs> um. Let's make a difference. 200. Okay. Our question says, so um, this will be a true or false question. If I am unmarried, it is more likely that I will not regularly attend prenatal visits and my child will be born at a low birth okay, rate. Okay. False. No. You're a true. You're true. 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 Um, and it's so this one I like to go over. It's not saying that Do, wait, does that mean you lose points? No. <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> it does, it's not saying that if somebody is unmarried, it means that they're gonna have a child born at a low birth weight. It just means that um, your marital status, so being single or married or, you know, divorced, uh, um, statistically is shown to affect if a child is born at a low birth weight or not. So you're more likely to be born at a low birth weight, amongst other factors, if your parent, your mom, is unmarried. Mm -hmm. So that's just one of those things, you know, when you're thinking about it, and just like, oh, well, I love somebody, and we're thinking about starting a family. This is one of the things marriage does matter. It does show in statistics. All right. And you guys didn't get it, so you guys can pick a question. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, is there a random button? There is not a random button, but I can pick my no. favorite one if you want to hit the random button. True or false, <laughs> 300. All right. Doesn't matter. At this point. Question <laughs> is, I spoiled my son because I ran and picked him up every time he cried. Now he wants to be held all the time. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay. It was our question. Okay. But I push their buzzer is real cool. And exactly. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna let them answer, and maybe because they're so close to 1500, we'll go to 2000. What's your answer? True. 
Actually, it's false. It's false. You should let me answer. See, so, so you cannot so spoil you an in infant. It's not true. They haven't learned um, the skill to manipulate yet. So they, if they're crying, they're, it's not because they're they're being spoiled or because they're trying to manipulate you. It's because they actually need. See, this is my grandfather. This is the way he raised me. Well, is that how we decided so? to tell me no. that if I spoil an <laughs> infant, they're gonna. <laughs> No. That's so, what my mom be telling me. That's that's a good thing to know. You can't actually spoil Shout it. Shout out to my parents. And it makes sense, right? Because if you're, you know, <laughs> when you're just you. born, you don't you don't know how to manipulate. Now I can correct her. Like, oh, you spoil. Oh, you can't spoil a baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you, so you, you're you're not a baby. You could maybe be spoiled. I don't know if you're spoiled. <laughs> you're capable of being spoiled. So don't go to your mom and tell her that Geneva from Healthy Family said <laughs> that you're not spoiled because it's impossible. It's not. I didn't say that. Alrighty. Um, you guys can pick a question. Oh, I've given up on everything at this point. You guys got this. Uh, no. You do! They no. came back! Nah, no, you know what they do? You know what they do? They do their little buzzer before they actually know the answer. <laughs> you see the strategy. You just, we gotta have one buzzer person <laughs> and one mind. You gotta work He don't out. even be saying, you're... <laughs> Alright, which one? He'd be like, if. Yeah, I'm if. That's, that's, that's one. That could be your buzzer, if. I'll hear it. Just if? Mm-hmm. I'll make random noise. You gotta give it, like, some passion, though. We gonna give it more passion than you. I give it passion. The principal is coming in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> give me a category and a number. I don't care. All right. Either true or false, or riddle, or um, that name, that baby. Which one? I don't care. No, because if we pick the true or false, they're gonna end up saying, "Oh, whatever, mad quick," without so knowing just the answer. So if we we pick that one, they're not gonna know. Already oh, bet true or false. Ready? Ready? And just pick a number. Just pick any number. I got it. Your, your teammates are getting a little reckless, so are we agreeing yeah. on this? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. 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 You, it, that's right. Oh, because okay. your bread don't need to be a certain size to breastfeed. Exactly. Oh, so no. my favorite example is: my knees. Does it matter the size of your eyes, whether you're crying or not? You know, like you got big eyes, you got little eyes. Exactly. Doesn't matter. You cry still. So absolutely, and they get 500 points. Okay, we got a new a new scorekeeper. Alrighty, guys, you get to pick your um, category number. True or false? I guess the only one. Oh, 400 left. Alrighty. Yeah. Don't be doing the dirt. You get it wrong, you got you give the other team the other points. Oh, this must be Half hard. It's, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> Having a positive father figure in a home can increase cognitive performance. Yeah. Okay. You're I already said it. No, we already said it. Okay. She, she, she said her. Oh, crap. Yeah, Y'all yeah, heard me. Y'all heard me. Whoa. Whoa. No. All right, so Whoa. each team can whisper me their answer. And if you guys both get it right, then I'll give half points to each team. Fair? OK, all right. Yes? Good job. We both got it right. Half points, yes. That is true. So that brings back another point. So not necessarily if your parents are married, but if you have a positive father figure, whether it be your biological father or not, if you have a positive father figure in your house, you do better at school. So it's just one of those things. All righty, what is our score? We're gonna give our scorekeeper a minute, and we're gonna do one more. Okay. All right. <coughs> oh, we should be able to pick. Wait, no, shouldn't we pick? No, we got it right again. I should pick. Oh, you yes, picked this pick. Right. I got it. Right. Okay. All right. So, riddle me this or name that baby, guys. How are we feeling? Name that baby. Name that no, baby. No, none of the riddle adults. me this. Name that baby. <sighs> no, because we did. We'll do one of each. Perfect. Okay. We'll do one of each. Okay. So. Oh, that's long. Let's not. It's okay. Okay. So, the Cruz family. Everybody, guys, gotta listen hard. Okay. The Cruz family went out on a boat for Sunday dinner, as is customary in their family's tradition. Dad was late and had to take a raft to the boat after they would already left the dock. Mom said that dinner will be ready in 10 minutes and they can wait for Dad so that the family can eat together and talk about their day. If Dad is sitting in a raft that is 10 feet below the only rung of the ladder and the waves lift the raft two feet closer to the ladder every five minutes, how late will Dad be for dinner? Score is even, by the way. No way. 50. Okay. Here we go. 50 minutes? 
No. You're, um, he can just climb up the ladder despite of the sea level rising? No. What do you mean? He what? said how late will how dad? How late will dad be for dinner? Um. 10 minutes. So if you guys, no. <laughs> what? If you guys want a hint, he I can give you a hint. Hint. He won't be late at all. I. Oh, Why? Fuck. He won't be late at all because the sea, the water is basically the waves are pushing him towards the boat. Yeah. No. No, they're pushing him towards like where he needs to. Where is he going? He's trying to get on the boat. Yeah. They're basically pushing him to dinner. He, yeah. They're pushing Quaker him to dinner. To dinner. So yeah. I will give you half the points, but you didn't get why. Oh my god. If you want to get the other half, you can you can work it out, or you can settle for 150 points. 150 points. Okay. So yes. Settle for that. You guys want the other 150 points, or you want me to tell you the answer? No, nah, we. I'll take it. Oh, yeah, okay. But you said you said we're tied, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. we're tied. That means we need to be on our A game. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still tied. Yeah. On our next game. We're okay. Gonna All right. They got so. 150 points. So now they're ahead. Oh, oh, oh you already yeah. know. Yeah. Big yeah. over here. Little G's over there. Yeah, retired. <laughs> that was I, 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 I would like to resign. <laughs> my both then, uh, okay. I'm gonna do a different one, but the answer is so. Um, one, the waves in the raft are never gonna lift Dad any higher. And even if he can reach the rung of the ladder, there's only one rung on the ladder. So there's nowhere to climb. Mm. There's like only one thing on the ladder, so he can't climb up. All right. So then he said, name that baby. Bieber fever, whatever Correct. that is. Woof. Baby by Justin Bieber. Correct. Yes. 400 points. You were I mean, because you guys were young and you guys are young and so. Did I mean, you but anyone would know that. I'm old, but I I'm, I'm a little bit. Like I said, you guys, and I put it on there because it's one of the things. Like I said, big bees, little G's. Whew. All right. I'm going to stick around. <laughs> okay. All righty. Let's do... Como se dice for 100. Isa, Baba, Abba. Baby. You're... You're... No. Damn. Is it dad? Correct. You're... It is dad. dad. That's 100 points. That's okay. <laughs> so the first is Spanish, <laughs> the second is Turkish, and the last is Hebrew. Um, let's do name that baby 500. Okay. Elvis's favorite. Elvis's favorite nursery rhyme. <gasps> Boom! You know Cry this. me a rhythm! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You know this? I feel like I do. I know it's by Elvis Presley, obviously, but I don't know. Is it like a crying song? song? It has something to do with crying in it, right? Like, or am I. Uh, the only thing about the song is that it has baby in it. You're a and baby. baby come Correct! Oh, there you girl. go! Dang! 500 points! Well, <laughs> well, I, I don't want to resign. Good thing you didn't resign, right? <laughs> All right, is that it? Did, uh, what's the score? Like, are we so winning right now? Nineteen hundred to them, and I think eighteen fifty. Eighteen fifty. No, 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 we need fifty more. Okay, okay. 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 We need a good like. All right, okay. let's see. It's so close. Let's do this two hundred. Okay, okay. We we gotta get this. Oh, this is a fun backup. Oh yeah. <laughs> Shelly has three sisters: <laughs> Sheila, Sheena, and Shayna. Shayna is the oldest, and Sheila is the youngest. If Shelly is three times older than Sheena, and Shayna is 25 years older than Shelly, how old was Sheena when she was born? What the heck? Oh, you're, okay. um, she was, like, exactly when she was born? She was zero. zero. There you go, correct. All right, I said we won. We're done. We reached our amount of points. You cannot do that. So, how many points does that work? Yep. Hang on, okay. You can't do that. How much does that work? Listen. It was 200. We won at first. That's, That's what you get for being too cocky. She said to 2,000. They got my 50 points. They have 2,000. Listen, little G's. 2,000. Right, listen, little G's. Come on, big G's. Okay, big G's. Little G's. Little G's. All right, so he has a winner's first year. A winner's first. Winner's second year. Do we want to win? Second is the best. You like that. One last year. Right there. 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 Right Once upon a time, there was a queen who wanted nothing more than to raise a princess. When the time came and she was ready to deliver, the doctor offered Mama Mir so that she could see her daughter's head. 
Mom shrieked and refused to continue labor, saying she'd have to give up her dream of raising a princess forever. Of course, she continued and had a healthy baby girl, but from that day on, the queen was terribly sad. And though she raised her daughter, she said she never got her dream. What happened to make the queen so sad? Okay. She couldn't have. Well, I want to answer. I want to answer this right. Can you reread it? So her vagina was open too wide. No, she had you a C-section. And she had a, vagina's a natural word. She so had a okay. C-section. She didn't push it. No. Anymore. Or they put her. Can you reread it again? Sure. Sure. So once upon a time, there was a queen who wanted nothing more than to raise a princess. Right. Queen wanted nothing more than to raise her princess. When the time came, she was ready to deliver, and the doctor offered the mom a mirror so that she could see her daughter's head. You know how sometimes, so if you guys don't know, sometimes the, doc the doctor offers mom a mirror so that she can see her daughter being born. Okay? Um, mom shrieked and refused to continue labor, saying she'd have to give up her dream of raising a princess forever. So that was mom's dream. She said she'd have to give it up. Of course, she continued and had a healthy baby girl from that day. Um, she continued to have a healthy baby girl, but from that day on, she was terribly sad. And though she raised her daughter, said that she never got her dream. So, what happened to make her so sad? She didn't have the baby. She did. She did have I'm a baby. It was healthy. Confused. She said she would have to give up her dream. Here, she would have to give up her dream. That's why she was upset. Okay, but why? Why did that make her sad? And how did she have to give up her dream? Because having a baby makes everything. <gasps> Ooh, okay, 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 no. okay. When you have. Uh, so her You're gonna watching you give birth is disgusting. No. Okay. It's actually yes, it really, is. really cool. Have you watched? No, it's not. Oh. It's nasty. <laughs> it's cool to me. Come on, okay. I'm so like I said, I this know. one you might have, you can answer, you can throw it out. She and, gave up her dreams because she wanted her daughter to, she wanted it to, does it have something to do with her daughter living her dreams or something like that? Like, it has to do with her daughter. Her daughter became it queen. It doesn't have to do with the queen. Her Anything her daughter grew up to be. But you kind of said the answer, but you didn't. You don't know that it's the answer, so I can't give it to you. I said that her daughter was going to be queen. Yes. Well, her daughter wanted her dream. Princess. Her daughter is going to become princess because. So the the queen's wish was for that was that she raise a princess. Oh, but her daughter <gasps> didn't want to be a princess. Her daughter ended up being a queen before a princess. How? Or her daughter was her a daughter princess didn't want to be a princess. Her daughter. You got okay. really close. Okay. She got married. Okay. Now, and you guys have to give me what the labor term is in order for me to give you the points. But she had a miscarriage. No, she Damn. had the baby. She raised uh, the baby. She had twins. The baby died. No, no. Okay. She raised a healthy baby. Her daughter got ready? No. So this one is a really, really hard one. This is what I said you might need to have. Um, her daughter. No. <laughs> this is what I said you might need to have um, a working knowledge of childbirth. Um, so when a baby is first coming out, does anybody know what that's called? Labor. When it's, when its head comes out? Isn't that a bad thing when the head comes out first? No. No, that's actually the feet. Comes when out. the head that's comes out first, that means the baby's ready to come. But do you know what it's out. called? No. So what does this look like? If you only see this part of a baby's head, what does it look like? Or like, like, like just a brain. Like do I look like a baby? Oh, there we go. So she came out of she princess. She was born a queen. She was born a queen. But then at that point, because oh, she was born a queen. We got that. Princess. No, but Kaylee gave you the answer. You but she said a princess. She said a queen. I said she queen. was born a queen. She said she was she born, born a queen princess. because she her, when yeah. a baby is born, they crown. So yeah. if yeah. a princess is crowned, she becomes a queen. Do we get that point? No, you didn't. No. I can give you guys one more for the tie. All right. So the Clark family yeah, has to get, I know, I gotta confuse you a little bit. All right. Oh. The Clark family has to get to their WIC appointment. Does everybody know what WIC yeah. is? It's a, it's a kind of, um, a they give you like, 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 it's like, no, they give you an envelope full of like things that you can get, certain things for your baby, baby, your baby, like milk or cheese yeah. or whatever. Like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a service that's offered in the community that helps moms with food and different things like that. Um, so. <laughs> They needed to get to their WIC appointment. The appointment's on the other side of the bridge that just collapsed. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, the Clark family has a sub to take them across the lake, right? Mm -hmm. Mr. Clark and Mrs. Clark both must be in attendance for their four children and all of their children, all four children under, the th under 10 years old, which means they can't leave anyone home. The whole family has to go. The dimensions of the boat are 10 feet by 5 feet, and there's only seating for four people, okay? Nobody sat on anybody's lap, and the Clark family made it to their WIC appointment. Don't get a car name. No. People stayed in the car? No. People sat on the floor, what's up? No. So what the heck? Close, though. 
They Actually, said, I'm driving this off. There you go. She got that. Okay. Good job. <laughs> Correct. So what is it? That 500. is 500 points, Wait, so Shadi. The, the answer is they took a sub. So I gave the dimensions of the boat, but they ended up taking a sub. So it didn't matter how many seats were on the boat, they took a sub. Oh. There you go. Okay. So good job. Team Big B's. You already know little you guys want to do these. <laughs> you guys want to do the last riddle question before you guys yes. answer yeah, we can no, do that. No, 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 no. Give us some, so what's what's the score right now? What's the, <laughs> what's the score right now? You're at 2500 and you're at 2650. Give us some add up to there. or maybe a little higher. So we need 25 and 2050. Como se dice? So. 600. Nosh. Oh. That's what yeah. 600 como se dice. Yeah, yeah, that's what you I guys wanted to see? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Uh, Wait, so what those, languages are those? Those are the three words. Your languages are Romanian, Finnish, and Filipino. No, nope. uh, look at and her. And you guys all have home. to look at me. <laughs> you guys all right have there? to look can at me. Right there? Nope, because then you guys can look at her direction. So you all have to look at me. <laughs> look at her. I'm on <laughs> And you can't even whisper it, Kaylin. Look at her trying to whisper it. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, so okay. I can yeah. give you a hint. Oh, it's a noun. Kobe? No. It is a noun, and it has to do with so things that healthy families family? offer. So, or not that healthy families offer, but things that um, I might encounter in my job. So, you know, things that we've talked about so far, like doctor, nurse, appointments. appointments. So appointments. We talked about those. We talked about community services. We talked about appointments. What are some other things that we've talked health. about? We talked about health. We've talked so like about health teacher or pregnancy. It's, so it's not. It's it's a noun, but it's not. Surgery. It's not an occupation of a person, so it's not like lawyers, not doctors, nothing like that. But it is. Is it what you do to somebody? No. Oh my god. Now, person, place, or thing. Person, place, or thing. Mm-hmm. So it is a person, a place, a patient. Or a patient. Mm, technically, yes, but a customer. Person? No. A patient. Um. A guest. A consumer. Uh, a consumer. Consumer. No. Um. So it is a it's a thing or as you said it's a person place or thing so it's not a place right no it's not a place it's a person it is a way to describe a certain person sick no not that that is not an occupied patient no well, that was a really good one <laughs> nope um I don't know it's pretty hard it's a six hundred handicap nope no Jada you'll look at her now. <laughs> So this one is hard. The word actually means baby. I said baby. Said baby. Did you? I oh, swear. Yeah. I said oh, baby. I'm sorry. You got it. Good job. Good job. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. You're over. That's it. Yes. I think we're over. Um. Does it? So does anybody have questions about kind of what Healthy Families does or what the Institute for Family does? Oh. What does it do? No. Nope. So um, Healthy Families is a program that is offered to any prenatal mom or mom that has a baby under three months old in Ulster County. Um, so it, we screen from different community services and programs in the area and if we find out and we get you in time um, we offer a home visiting program. Um, so it is focused on child development and preventing child abuse but we do like developmental screenings, we do child centered activities, we make sure that the family is connected to different resources and we can stay with the child as long as we get them early enough up until five years old to help them get ready and started for kindergarten. Mm. Yes. That Yes, ma'am. Um, so like I said, any mom or dad, so like we said, Healthy Families is in a program just for moms and babies. So any family that has, uh, that the mom is pregnant or the baby is under three months and they live in Ulster County is eligible for the program. Um, there's no age limit, so mom can be as young as she is or as old as she is. Um, we can enter into the program. Um, dad can come with the baby if they want. Um, grandmas, grandpas, aunts and uncles, anything like that. Um, we work with the entire family, so you know, like that's something we said too. Um, yeah. Any other questions about healthy families, about the institute, about where we are, where we're located? Where are you located? You said here in the Ellenville. Is it by shop, right? So the I two hundred and twenty one Canal Street, Ellenville, NY one two four two eight. So that is the healthy family. Parts office. of having a piece of paper. So if you are if you know anyone that's pregnant or has a young infant and is interested in a home visiting program they can come to the 221 Canal Street site, which is, you know, family of Ellenville. Mm -hmm. um, that's a common place that lots of people in Ellenville know. Uh, we actually work downstairs in the building. We also work very closely with family of Ellenville. Or if you need services like dental services, mental health services, um, 
So like maybe gynecology services, anything like that, podiatry, well, maybe, you know, things like that, um, pediatrics, anything like that, those are all offered at the Institute for Family Health. So that's located by ShopRite. Mm -hmm. Do you guys get a lot of customers? I think so. I have um, a nice healthy case weight of families in Ellenville. Um, I am one of the home visitors, so I would go out to the home, I meet with the family either weekly or bi-weekly, once a month or like once a season, depending on how old the baby is. Um, yeah, we like work on different things that, the, you know, the things that the family needs. We are really goal centered. So if you guys, you know, if the family is working on a goal, if mom wanted to um, find new housing or wanted to graduate high school, maybe that's a goal that I worked on with mom or, you know, any little things like that. Those are things that we work on. Any other questions? No. No? Good? No, I just wanted to say, hold on, I just wanted to say, big G's out here, little B's out there. We don't do a little. Actually, we don't do a little out here. It was the other way around. It was the other way around. We won that game, and then we won again, and we felt bad and let you guys get a little. Which one of y'all gotta hear each other? None of us. First is the worst. Second is the best. Third is the worst. I don't want to hear it. Big B's, little G's, all day. Big B's. All right. All right. want to thank you guys so much for playing. Thank you. Phenomenal sports. I hope you guys learned something. We did. A little bit. Don't go back and tell your mom that I said you can't be too. <laughs> I did not say that. I, I did not say that. I didn't say that. Um, you guys learned a little bit. You guys picked up on some new languages. We're tested out your riddle skills. So, yeah, thank you guys so much. It was fun. All right. So, Big B's, little G's. All right. right, let me end it, please. Oh. So, was there anything else you wanted to add today? Um, I don't think so. If there is anyone that's watching or anything like that and you are... Um, pregnant, you know someone that's pregnant, you know someone with an infant under three months old, you are more than welcome to stop by the Healthy Families office located at 221 Canal Street in Ellenville and come introduce yourself. That's all. Okay, so for more information you can also visit their email which is uh, J G M E Y at institute.org. A Y. Yeah, A Y. Or you can call 845-647-7743. And thank you for joining us today on Spotlight Will Worsen. And we'll see you next week. Thank you so much.